Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shanice back with a new video and I'm here today with my DIY nails. You guys have been requesting this like no other. So I'm finally here today to show you guys how I do so. So I'm going to show you guys everything First, that you what you'll need. need is your nails of choice. I use these nails right here, which come in a pack of 500 and I get these from eBay for about six to seven dollars. This is what the little packs look like. They come in these little baggies. I don't know how many come per bag. Just do the math. I don't feel like doing that right now. But I don't know if every bag is the same. So, um, yeah. So, this is what I use. These are natural. They're just the regular shape. And you can also get them in clear, which I do have clear right here. Um, and you can get them in different shapes and sizes. Next, what you'll need is your glue. I use super glue. You can use whatever you want. You can use nail glue, whatever. This is what I use. I get this from Dollar Tree for a dollar. You'll for need two a bag. filer. I'll shove your choice if you want to. This is optional. And then I also use grease. I use grease to put around my cuticles to keep the paint from getting on there. You know, sometimes you get a little clumsy and get paint everywhere. And I'm not spending no money on that mess that you put around your cuticles. And you can also use, um, I heard you can use um, Elmer's glue, but I use just some grease. And that is it. Okay guys, so first what you wanna do is get your nails organized. So today I want my nails long, so Pretty much all of my nails are the same size except for my pinky and my thumbs. Everything else is the same size. I'm not going to go over the sizes with you guys. Make sure you get them organized in the position so it'll be easy. Okay guys, so the next step is to file down your nails. Um, if they're long, file them down. I'm not, I don't have to because my nails are not long right now, but I am just going to file my regular nail. It just makes these stick a little better, but this is optional. You don't have to do this. All right, I got my nails nice and filed down. All right, guys, so first what you want to do is get your nails ready. So um, I got my nails ready, and I'm going to start off with my thumbs. So first what I like to do before I get started is I like to take the nail that I'm about to use, and I like to take um, the nail, and I like to push it up against my cuticle. And what this does is make this the nail look a lot natural, more natural. So that way when you put the nail on, it's going right up against your cuticle. And I also like to take my nail filer and I like to round out the bottom of the nail a little bit and this just makes them look so much more natural like you just went to the salon and got them done so you don't have to do a lot just enough okay and see how that looks so much better versus when they're like they're not perfectly rounded at the end so yeah but that is optional you don't have to do this okay so I take my glue I put a little bit on the back and I like to kind of spread it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I like to, when I put it on, I like to take it and spread it on there a little bit. And then I'm also going to put a little bit on my thumb. All right. And the next step, you just want to put it on here, push it up against your cuticle. And then I hold it for about 10 to 20 seconds. All right, once you hold it for your 20 seconds, sometimes you will get glue around the edges, so just clean this up. The way I like to clean it up is just take a little uh, a cloth, and I usually dip this in a little bit of nail polish remover, not the acetone one, and just wipe it clean around the edges. And it's good as new. Alrighty guys, so here is the finished product so far. Not the finished finished product, but this is how they look when I first start off. So um yeah, so this is what they look like. And the next step, you can keep them just like this if you want to. You can start painting them, put your your you know um your grease on your cuticles if that's what you want to do. But I'm going to shake my nails. Now I never did this part on camera like I filmed this before and I never put it up but I've never did the um, the nail filing part well not the nail filing but well I guess that is what you call it. so anyway you're gonna take your filer 
and what I do I do mine in the coffin shape sometimes I also do the um, stiletto but um, I kind of not grew out of it it's just I just like the the shape of the coffin nails a little bit better so what I do it's like a hella ass echo in this motherfucker but oh well so anyway I, I start I don't know how good you guys can see let me change my angle up excuse my dirty shirt and all y'all I just threw this on so I can do this video so um anyway so I start from the side okay and I kind of start at an angle so you might not be able to tell but I'm doing it at like an angle with my the way I'm holding it so that when I start so it starts forming that shape okay so I don't know if you guys can see it but that's what I do so this is what I have so far it's not really much off yet but I start just like that and it's the same way you would do your stilettos as well so I just switch sides up a little bit it's something that you got to kind of play with it's something I've learned over time I'm not a I don't do nails a nail I'm not a nail tech by any means but I've kind of learned you know what to do so the shape is starting to come into form so I'm gonna show you guys like the difference y'all can see the difference already so as you guys can see I'm doing it at an angle I don't know if you guys can see it but I'm, I'm going at an angle And you guys have requested this video so many times. Let me move my light so y'all can um, see a little better. Because my lighting ain't the best right now. So you just want to play with it. It takes a minute sometimes to get it where you want it. But as long as you don't do too much at one time like don't try to take off too much at one time and then you don't like it and you got to take it off and do a whole new nail so here's some more and then you can also from here you can also start making um the stiletto shape i would just keep shaving it off and until it was pointy and then rounding it out and everything like that so you can do what you want to do but i'm just going to keep it here i'm not gonna this is actually i kind of took off too much um, but sometimes I like my, um, mine to be like this. So, yeah. So I'm going to continue. I always do one whole hand first and then I'll do the next one. Um, you can also do it straight up at first. Sometimes I do it like this. Shave off the sides a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. And then once I get what I want off, then I start... I come to the top and I start doing the shape at the top so it's up to you if you want to however you want to do it so I'm gonna continue this I'm not gonna make this long I want to just show you guys like the basics of how I do my nails so that you guys could see because that's really what you wanted to see so I'm gonna continue to shape them I tried to show you guys the basics okay because I can't really show you like I want to but you guys kind of get it. I do it at an angle. So whatever way I want the nail, just kind of angle it like this. Let me show you like this. So you see how I hold it right here? I try to keep my actual finger straight like so. And I just take this at an angle, okay? Just like so. And I just keep going until I'm satisfied with the results. Okay. All right, guys. So here is the completed nails. Um, I shaped them how I wanted them. Really nice job. Um, I will say with these type of followers, it does take a while. Look. I split it I always do this because I need like the block um, nail filer 
but I still haven't got one yet so that's what I need to get because I always break these because I gotta put so much force in these because you know they start to die down this is just like a cheap Dollar Tree one that I got but yeah it did the trick so yeah I love them this is my favorite shape so I showed you guys how to do it they're not perfect um, I wasn't trying to go like super deep into them I got things to do so I wasn't trying to like make them perfect but yeah here they are so I'm about to paint them but you can keep them just like this um, so this is what I do with the the grease I take um, my little nail brush you can use a paintbrush whatever you have um, let's go into this just a little bit and I go around my cuticles okay and I usually put enough on here to get through a whole hand okay so I just make sure I get it all around there you might have to go back and dip it in there a little bit but I make sure I go all around I want you guys to be able to see this this is my favorite thing to do okay I know y'all probably like grease yes and it's only a dollar it works just as good as the expensive stuff that you would order on eBay or get from a nail shop or whatever and that's all you do is just do this and when you paint your nails okay any paint that you get off any <laughs> paint that you get that is not on the actual nail itself will come right off as soon as you wash your hands or if you just like you know scrape it with the nail so that's what I do I'm about to do the other side then I'm gonna paint my nails I'm gonna I changed the paint color I'm gonna do them like this nudie color because I want it nude um, I was gonna use this one right here which is marvelous I don't know which one this is um, I think about this is also sinful colors but I don't know which one this is because this is one of the ones that I bought from Dollar Tree back when they were selling sinful colors and they didn't have the um, name at the bottom so I don't know what color this is and it doesn't say but it's like a pinky uh, nudie color so this is what I'll be painting my nails today alright guys so I just wanted to come back and show you guys the finished results of my nails um, I don't know how good you can see them let me So this is what they look like. Okay guys, so this is what they look like. This is the finished results of my nails. They're a nudie color. I'm trying to like show you guys, but my lighting is bad right now at this moment. But this is what they look like. I really, really like them. This is my favorite, like one of my favorite colors, the nudie color. So yeah, this is how you do your DIY nails at home. Very affordable. I love them. So I hope you guys try them out. And I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.